Yo guys, what's up? It's Dan here once again. Um, this time around, I'm doing something a bit different. Uh, basically, it's sort of a tutorial. I, I don't really, nah, well, not really a tutorial, but um, a troubleshooter, if you will. Anyway, there's there's a very common error with uh, Sony Vegas, uh, many different versions, 8, 9, whatever have you, you know, where... Um, you could be rendering a project and it'll it'll pop up an error cancel your render and just basically say um you know your system's low on memory and it's talking about ram and cpu usage and that sort of thing so um it's it's odd because people will get this problem even though they have like six gigs plus ram and it's there's plenty of ram to run these uh, these programs and render these project files and all that but it still pops it up, and you're probably wondering, screw you, you fag. Um, you're probably wondering why this happens and what's going on. Well, nine times out of ten, it's just a bug, and, well, a bug's a bug. But there is the, uh, the, the chance that it is actually, you know, your computer is low on memory, and you're just, you got too many files going or whatever. But I'm going to show you, uh, in this video, a bunch of fixes that... Uh, might actually work for you they may not they might you know who knows try them out see if they help you but uh, anyway we'll just start with the most basic um, check to see if your computer a is actually using more memory than you're thinking and in order to do that just pull up your task manager hit hit control alt delete and bring it up and it'll say start task manager you want to start task manager you got your applica applications thing right here now the thing about the applications is the um, this won't display anything. It'll just show you what your open files are, but then you want to click processes and it'll show all your processes that are currently open on your file that some of them may be hidden, some might not. Now, if you're noticing the memory is rather high, see I've sorted it by memory so you can see. My physical memory right now is 66%, which isn't very much at all. It it won't go up any, any higher than that. It's mainly because I got Vegas open to show you and you know Vegas takes up a lot of memory. Now, if you're running programs, that really don't need to be open like uh, you scroll down you'll see some that like are in the tray or something that just don't need to be open it's a good idea to close them close as many as you can and if like I said if your physical memory is close to 100 percent then chances are you don't have enough memory or uh, fuck that thing's annoying um, Either that or you're just running too many programs at once and you should close a few of them. You can sort it by memory like I have. It'll show you uh, how much your computer is being, how much is taking, how much memory is taking up on your computer. And it's a good idea to shut them down, anything you don't really need. So it's recommend that you check that first before you do anything else. Now, another, pr another fix is kind of interesting. I'll bring it up for you. You want to click control panel, go to your control panel, uh, hit system and security click system and this is for uh, Vista and Windows 7 it'll bring up your computer specs and shit like that and you'll have uh, if you have XP however you can just right click uh, system and go to properties but if you're doing Vista or Windows 7 you want to click uh, system and then go to advanced system settings for this so they're both different but they're, it'll get you to the same place. And it'll pretty much put you up, I don't know, I forgot where the first tab, but you want to click Advanced. And you'll see all these profiles. You want to hit Performance, so go to Settings. And Data Execution Prevention. That is very, um, I don't know, it kind of fucks you over a little bit. Uh, basically what you want to click, it'll default be, will be set on Turn on DAP for Essential Windows Programs and Services only. Now basically what it's saying is it'll prevent any unnecessary data flow I don't know it I'm not a huge computer nerd so I can't really explain it to in, to its extent but basically what this will do when you click turn on DEP for all programs and services that will basically turn it on and reduce the amount of memory being used in these programs except for what you choose so basically it'll focus all your memory on Vegas Pro and you'll reduce memory in other places you don't need it so basically you want to click add find uh, Sony Vegas and this is where I just found it you want to go to your program files, Sony, then Vegas Pro, or whatever you're using, and find Vegas 90 or Vegas 80 or whatever version. You just want to click the application right there and add it. Make sure it's checked as well, and click OK. That, now, that might work for you right away, but uh, sometimes it doesn't. Like for me, it didn't right away, and I had to use combination effects to fix it. 
Now, as you can see, I'm running 32-bit operating system. Now, the problem with these fixes is most of them seem to only work on 32-bit computers, whereas the 64-bit, it just doesn't seem to work as well. However, I do recommend you try these just in case. Then, you know, it doesn't hurt to, uh, you know, to see if they actually work. Now, let's open up Vegas finally, and I'll show you what you can do in Vegas to fix this. Now, as you can see, I got a rather large project open. This is from my um, latest StarCraft II playthrough, the last few videos that I was rendering. As you can see, I got about 16 videos. Each of them are 16 different parts. And what I have set up here is a batch render. So basically, I can just hit Tools, you know, Scripting, Batch Render, and edit my settings and render it in one big... Um, file so basically what it'll do is it'll render one file and once it's done it'll start the next one and the next one so basically I can just walk away and let it render without having to start each one over and over again now that it's very handy but also having this many projects and this many videos open at one time can actually obviously take up more RAM and the problem with that is um, with this error um, this system low on memory error this will the chance your chances will be a lot higher of them failing if you do have something like me where you have a shitload of videos or a shitload of different projects going at once so there are a few things you can do to fix this now okay i recommend before you start any render uh to restart your computer get everything fresh clean do don't have any excess memory being used you know it's all fresh it's a good idea to restart your computer i do that before each render so i ensure that it doesn't happen now uh, let's move on to uh, excuse me for a second. Uh, if you go to file and you go to render render video or render, render as for example. Now for my videos, I have a template made for uh, for my uh, videos, my HD videos. I just called it 720p. Now there's a simple fix. If you notice, there's custom and you you can edit your stuff. Now, this the, your problem could be easily fixed if you do edit one thing, for example. Like, I think I changed, I, hold on one sec, let me find out in just a minute. Uh, I made a new one called 720p Fix. And all I did was change the audio sample rate t from 48 to 44100. And that actually helped a lot. I, I, I would start the 720p render and it would fail, whereas this one wouldn't. So basically just making a new template will could actually save you from having to you know go through all these failures. Now you can also do change the project to good, you know, uh, or I, I keep it on best because I think it obviously looks the best that way. But um, if you want to dumb things down to good, you'll have a very low chance of having a render fail. So before you do anything drastic, try just making a new template and just starting fresh from there. So that's another thing you can actually try. Um, like like most of them, a lot of these didn't work for me, all these simple fixes. But anyway, uh, I'll show you another fix that apparently works for a lot of people. And I don't know if it worked for me. It's hard to tell what actually did it for me because I had all these things combined. I don't know if they all did that right or what. But anyways, you want to go into options. Hold on, I'll redo that so you can see what I'm doing instead of me blabbering here. Options, go down to preferences, click the video tab. Now you'll have the dynamic RAM preview, the max megabytes, and it's a good idea to keep this low. You can put it all the way down to zero, or you can do a lower number like eight megabytes or two megabytes or something like that. The lower the RAM preview, the less RAM that Vegas will use. Now, um, it's recommended that you go as low as you can because uh, you'll have a way better chance. I think default for me was about 100 megabytes when I first checked this thing off. And you don't need that. It's just your preview, your preview that it's doing. So you don't need that shit. I mean, in the ending, you just want the video to be perfect. So with that being said, it's a good idea to set it to a nice low number, even zero, like I have it set here. Now, another thing you'll notice is your maximum number of th rendering threads will be set to four, I believe, as a default. Now, this basically what it means is um, it'll render, uh, you know, use like different, pro I can't really explain it, but basically uh, the more, the higher you have, the better your processor, the more numbers you can tick off pretty much. And uh, th therefore, the faster the video will render. However, this will uh, sacrifice a shit load of RAM. So um, basically, I have a dual core processor it's an older model this computer I have here but if I could tick it up to two I can render use like both the you know 
since I have a faster one, I could use two since mine's a dual core. If you have quad core, you can set it to four. But however, even though you have a faster processor, I recommend going to one. Just using one rendering thread at a time. It may be a little slower. It may not be. It depends on your computer, like I said. But I recommend you set this to one. It usually works. F it's a good idea to keep those settings and just not risking it because the last thing you want to do is like for example thing, things I've noticed I could get like 95 percent through one video then it would crash and say your system's low on memory which is really annoying but uh, again you just got to kind of go with it you know but anyway um, yeah so that that's something that you should look out for again I also recommend like I said before going into your task manager m start a render keep an eye on the uh, uh, keep on an eye on your memory usage. See if it if it's going up or down, or if it's just staying at a constant. You know, like going up a little, then down a little, up a little, down a little, constantly. That's something good because then it's not going over. But sometimes the memory will spill, and you'll go up and up and up and up until your computer just can't handle that much. You know, memory going at one time, which is kind of a pain in the ass. And I guess it really comes down to what your computer can do, how long your video is, how much. Uh, how many different things you have in your video like for example I have a title uh, I have a title in here for my account name right up here I have the video itself and I have all the audio and all my settings changed and everything I have the projects I have the length which this first video for example is about like over 13 minutes long so it's gonna take up more memory the longer it takes the more memory it'll increase now that's a huge problem with Vegas this problem has been around I think since Vegas 8, ever since Sony bought the uh, the Vegas name and uh, product from, I don't recall the original designer, the producer, whatever, programmer of Sony, Ve or of Vegas, you know. Anyway, um, either way, it's been happening for a while, and Sony doesn't seem to fix this problem, even though it's very major. But recently, with these uh, things that I'm doing, oh, yes, w with these last few things that I'm combining, um, it's been working a lot better. I've had very little crashes, and what I'll do is basically monitor it and let it render one project. Holy shit, this is annoying. Um, it'll render one project, and and if it renders the first project, I'll walk away because I know that chances of it, f you know, working are better, and it's always better to have that, you know. So is I'd recommend for the fir if you're rendering a bunch of projects like myself. Um, just keep an eye on it every so often. Make sure it doesn't stop. Make sure it advances. Check your memory, that sort of thing. It can be tedious and cumbersome, but you just have to do it, you know, if you really want this video. I mean, most of you I've heard, you know, even if you're rendering just a one minute clip are getting this issue, and it's just stupid because one minute of footage, even in HD maximum, even if you're rendering 1080p for one minute, it shouldn't do that. And, you know, I don't know, but anyway, one last thing I think I can recommend you do. Um, for a fix is the um, wireless internet. Now you may not think that this plays a role, but it does. Now normally I'm connected to a wireless internet. I have a wireless router, it's brand new, I just bought it recently, and it's extremely fast. However, wireless, like, you know, if when you ever turn on your computer and you turn it to wireless, you know, your, you sh your lap, most laptops should have an ability to do that, and it'll allow you to pick up wireless networks. I recommend shutting that off and connecting directly into, you know, local area network in your router, like going close to it, or better yet, just take get out internet. If you must keep your internet, then I recommend using a local area connection. And like it, it'll be a lot faster. It'll like it will use way less memory. I strongly recommend you do that. So make sure you got a local area connection or better yet, just unplug it altogether. Don't even worry about internet. Just let the thing render go to sleep, jerk off, do whatever you want, and you should be able to have a successful render. Uh, yeah, so those are a few things that I can actually re recommend you try. If they don't work, I apologize. I mean, everyone's computer is different, you know. It, it depends what you, your computer can handle or anything, so don't hate on me if these don't work for you. I, I'm just, they're suggestions. I mean, I hope they work for you. I really do, because I, I know firsthand how annoying this actual, you know, this thing actually is. And because I've figured out different ways you can do it and I've used different resources, like people on YouTube have recommended a few things as well, a few of these things I just showed you. Some of them I've recommended myself that have worked for me. So 
anyway thanks a lot guys and i'll see you guys next time